What is good, fans of the University of Jimothy? It's me, your boy Clicky, uh, here with some UJ Overwatch action. Uh, I did take a little bit of a hiatus from casting. Uh, I, I let some of my, my protégés uh, pick up the mantle for a little bit, and I feel like they did pretty well. So uh, I'm glad you guys came out and supported uh, both the teams that they were casting and the casters themselves. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's me, and it's actually just me for Valorant this time. So it'll be exciting. Uh, so it looks like first map is going to be Bind, second is going to be Ascent, and third is going to be Icebox. So a pretty standard uh, map pool. I don't know why teams just love taking UJ to uh, to Bind first, but um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. We, uh, I, <laughs> too spoiled, locking the Yoru, don't believe that's correct, and, <laughs> and his tag is built different, that's very funny. Oh, wait, 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 maybe, maybe they knew, and it was miscommunicated, because, uh, because Moose Whiskers, the opposing team, also has... A Yoru. Oh dear, no, sweetheart. Oh, why is that so loud? There, we're we're gonna turn that way down. Yeah, I don't know why it was so loud. But, uh, yeah, it looks like there was a mispick um, somewhere along the line, so we're just going to be restarting real quick. Because, you know, no no series can start without some difficulties first. It's, that just seems to be how it works. Ah, that's disturbing. Um, we can't switch away from it either. That's disturbing. Um... <laughs> There. All right. So it looks like we're getting back into it. We should be good. And hopefully there are no mispicks from anyone. I'm not going to name names, Mr. Too Spoiled, but um Yeah, let's let's just hope there's there's no <laughs> mispicks this time and it doesn't appear there is insane I'm, Yep, locking the arena. So just a very standard setup for UJ here on Bind. And they... <laughs> uh, bluffing the Oreo. Um, they are starting on defense as well. So because uh, Moose Whiskers deferred the starting side pick to UJ in exchange for... Um, what? Picking first map, I believe? I think that's how it worked. Um, yeah, either way, UJ is starting on defense. So we are hopefully going to see a real strong performance starting out from UJ. UJ is also pretty good at winning their pistol rounds. Um, so hopefully we'll just see pistol round win, second round win just from the pistol uh, momentum, uh, and then just continue, uh, continually locking down those sites. Uh, we're typically seeing UJ Snacky uh, on A, Insane on B, uh, Pot Agreed on B, but holding real passively um, because of his turret, his alarm bot, that kind of stuff. Um, too Spoiled, typically holding B as well, and Toji on A. Um, so let's see if I get 5 for 5. Uh, that is their typical setup, so we'll have to see. Um, also, if there's any audio level issues on your guys' end, let me know. Because um, it, it was really loud on my end, and it looked like it was quite loud on your guys' end as well, just judging by the uh, audio mixer levels in OBS. But um, if it's too quiet now, let me know. I'll, I'll turn it back up. Ooh, was I right? Was I right? Yeah, looks like I was right. 
Yep, Snacky holding showers, Toji holding short. Insanum looking to push up long. Uh, Pot Agreed holding Cubby, and Mr. Tio Spoiled holding far back. So I like the reticle. One thing I would like to point out is that uh, Moose Whiskers does have a quite a different comp compared to UJ's. Uh, they're rocking the Sova, Rays, and Astra as compared to our, uh, our Reyna, Jet, and Viper. So it's more their play style, um, but let's see if that actually works out for them. Looks like Spike down um, in that little cubby to the right in the little connector. Oh, insane of missing his shots and then getting dinked through the smoke. Ooh, very clean shots from Toji. Oh, but just massive sprays coming out from Moose Whiskers. And Yuja Snacky brought a shorty to round one. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to flame a little bit because why are you bringing a shorty to round one? You don't, don't do that. You're throwing. But Evan, I'm not throwing. Yeah, you're throwing. What? Okay. Okay. No. Okay. To be fair, still throwing. But what? <laughs> that was was kind of cool uh yeah someone should clip that that was that was that was kind of that was kind of sick um <laughs> what <laughs> oh man so uj luckily winning their piss around with whatever that was and uh um yeah yeah you just yeah yeah I don't know why UJ is typing Rick in chat. Perhaps they're talking about uh, being Rick rolled, uh, such as Moose Whiskers did just get rolled by that shorty. Oh. Incentive does get one, but is going to be traded by Mr. Tabor. Feels like his aim is just off today. Which is a little unfortunate to see, but that being said, he may just be uh, not super warm yet, so it happens. Doji pushing real aggressively with that Marshall. This is a relatively difficult take for UJ. Too spoiled knows where the one is, and he does hit the right click. Uh, yeah, okay, that's yep. It all happened so fast, but that's going to be round two for UJ. In a relatively explosive fashion on that retake as well, so you love to see it. So what are we looking like now? We're still just at Whittle half by territory, looks like. You just snacky investing fully in the Phantom. Um, but every everyone else looking to be half buying. Except Insanum, who's just rocking the Yeah, who's just actually rocking the classic. Alright. He's just vibing. You love to see Toji's uh, aggressive position. No, you don't. He's dead. Um, <laughs> didn't even get the tag, which is a little unfortunate. Because uh, with the Marshall, you're looking for the headshot. It can't one-shot to the body unless they don't have armor, uh, which isn't going to be happening on round three. But, um, yeah, it is it is a little unfortunate that he didn't even get the tag. So now you just having to play uh, this A-hold relatively passively. Just snacky picking up the rays. And Sandum just off his game today. I, I don't know how else to say it. Pot of greed having to clutch up the 1v4.
with a Spectre, nonetheless. He is known for his clutches. Yep, can't can't be walking into into pre fires like that. I mean, granted, he he didn't know for sure that the bullets were coming his way, but yeah, I don't know. You're you're never saving there either because it's just a specter. It's not worth saving, but still sucks that uh, he wasn't able to pick up anything. Was giving uh, <laughs> was was giving. Uh, Moose Whiskers, that extra kill money as well. Um, so, like I said, a little unfortunate. You just still up 2-1. to one. So, we'll see how they regroup into this. Hopefully, full buy round. Yes. Toji whiffing a few shots, uh, but tagging a few as well. So, probably a relatively even trade uh, with the damage onto the... Who was that? Is that the Killjoy? I, I didn't look. Um, so it looks like Moose Whiskers is going to be making the take on to B here. Squint and Tabor taking down uh, UJ Snacky and Toji respectively. It looks like Insanum is just going to be on the... On the teleport, not the hard lurk. And Moose Whiskers has, in fact, planted a good shot from two spoiled. So a real passive uh, hold from Moose Whiskers. That being said, they know exactly when to push. And it rewards them. So that's going to make things even at 2-2. Two to two. Yeah, Very well-timed peaks from Moose Whiskers. <laughs> Looks like someone was pinging saying they're all over. And they, they definitely did seem to be all over. So it looks like it is going to be a full eco round for for the most part. You see two spoiled and insanum with their deegs, but everything else is just uh very, very eco. Trying to spam out insanum, but it doesn't look like it's gonna work. The alarm bot was triggered, so he knows someone is in hookah. Or is approaching hookah, rather. Did see the little Astra bubble uh, pop. So you can assume that they're going to be pushing um, pushing Hookah just because they did use that pull in Hookah trying to rip people out. Ooh! Ooh! Insane them with the Deeg. Insane them with the... With the Vandal. Insane them with the, the soon-to-be death. Yep, there we go. <laughs> um, yeah, it's still a relatively hard retake from UJ because it does seem like Moose Whiskers is very competent in their sight holds once they've taken them. Good two kills from Potagreed, though. So while he wasn't able to clutch up that round, granted it was a 1v4, um, he still did a little bit of damage to Moose Whiskers' uh, econ. So now UJ is going to be on a full buy uh, because they did get maximum loss money. They've lost three rounds in a row, so they are getting maximum loss bonus, and they are able to full buy um, because of that. I'm not sure whether people just aren't feeling themselves today or what's going on, but it doesn't seem like there's the amount of confidence that we typically see in UJ. I'm not exactly sure why that is. Good first kill from Insanum and a second kill. 
So we know now that the spike is in long. So Moose Whiskers uh, has to rotate and get it either way. Um, and that may be for planting B, or it may be for picking it up, teleporting back to A, and then pushing through showers um, and planting that way. Um, but UJ has to be conscious of that either way. Um, but it does tell them when the spike is picked up. Oh, very close on that kill. Not quite able to pick it up, but is doing damage nonetheless. Tabor going down to the turret. Uh, a little unfortunate. Uh, Toji going down uh, to fusion, though. Putting UJ in a 3v1, a 2v1, rather. Um, and now they know relatively where he is. I would assume he was back near Fountain when... Uh, when he got that kill, and it looks like he's going to be pushing along. So as long as UJ doesn't execute poorly, um, this should go fine. She's pulled preemptively rotating uh, to hopefully deny the teleport. Um, the teleport and then plant onto A. There's the plant. There's the flash. There we go. There's the trade. Puttergreed did go down, but UJ won the round. So, could have been worse. Could have been, could have gotten 1v2. And UJ is going to pull it back even. Ooh, parkour. So how does it look like everyone's doing? Toji going negative. Very unusual. Uh, UJ Snacky actually top fragging again. And I mean, Insanum and Potagreed also do have five kills each, but uh, she has less deaths. So yeah, gloat about that one in VOD review, Autumn. Um, <laughs> That's a good Sova arrow. With that being said, didn't actually find Insanum. And because of that smoke wall, yep, that that happens. So the Astra's dead, and that's kind of a big deal because the longer the game, or the longer the round goes on, rather, um, the more impact she can have just because her kit is so incredibly versatile. Uh, she does have smokes, she has pulls, um, and she has... What's the other thing? I want to say it's flashes, but I don't think that's right. Yeah, she she just does a lot. She does a whole lot. So it looks like Toji didn't quite get the memo of if you right click, uh, you don't get your knives back. Now they they did make that recent nerf. Ooh, ooh, got to kill eventually. That's all that matters. Um, but yeah, they did recently nerf uh, Jet so that if you get a kill with her right click, the the volley of kunai, if you will, um, you don't actually refresh your kunai um, the same as if you got a kill with the normal uh, left click um, single fire, I guess, if you want to call it that. Evan, I knew what I was doing. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Satoji taking a real aggressive position. I, I'm i not sure if you can hear that uh, from the defender's position. I'm not 100% sure if you can hear that. Toji getting taken down again, playing these aggressive positions and just not hitting your shots. So, definitely unfortunate. That being said... um. You know, that, that's just the nature of those positions. Either you win the fight uh, and you back because you're Jet, you can do that, or you just get caught out and die because you're in such an open, aggressive position. So. Ooh. Insane him finally getting out of that uh, Astra pull. I was going to be holding that real tight little angle. Is going to get smoked off, though. 
So odds are very nice molly by Squint, by the way. Um, odds are this is going to be a uh, a quick end of the round once this smoke goes down. Before the smoke goes down. Seems like Moose Whiskers did their uh, did their homework. Definitely seems like they understand how we play. And I maybe they picked up on it really quickly, but it definitely seems like they came into the series knowing uh, a little bit more than you know the average team would. Which I mean, good on them. I'm not saying that they shouldn't be doing that. They definitely should be doing that. But you know. Um, UJ and Moose Whiskers back at four apiece. You did triple holding A now. Touchy getting out of there while concussed, so that is kind of a big deal. Um, just that Moose Whiskers wasn't quite able to get that free kill. Beautiful shot from Toji there. Oh, oh, he's too queen with it. Oh, why, why do I say things, Toji? Why, why aren't you clean with it? And now, too spoiled, just rotating back around to heaven. Um, and insane him there over by short. They know relatively where the Astra is. Um, right there, you see where the spike is. So. The Astra has to rotate and get it at some point or kill both players. So if Tuspold is sitting up in heaven, uh, he is definitely pretty hard to kill. And Insanum on that lurk, um, especially when they know exactly where Spike is, is kind of a big deal. I wouldn't be peeking that. Because he has to rotate, get, get Spike and plant, but... Too spoiled, just takes the ego challenge and wins it. There's no way that was correct. Like, in order to rotate back, get the spike, and then plant, that, that would have been, like, in overtime. So while the Astro rotated back, he could have dropped and then went behind those boxes we see on Too Spoiled's left. Yeah, the, the ones that Snacky is hiding behind. And then just denied to plant once it happened. There's no way taking that challenge was correct. Regardless, UJ won the round, so you can't be too unhappy about it. Pot of Greed and Insanum locking down uh, long. UJ Snacky with the classic one-way. You'll love to see it. It is a very nice one-way because it just shuts off the access to showers. Uh, Dolan underscore OW, your casting is bad, and so are you. I'm very confident in my casting. I'm not sure if Moose Whiskers knows exactly where they're pushing, because people are dying on both sites, and it's always the one that I'm not looking at. Toji just setting up the uh, the one way while you just snacky's um, smoke is recharging, so now she can rip it at any point. Pot of Greed does go down to fusion there, um, in mid. But they know exactly where he is now. Good shot from UJ Snacky. Gonna bring UJ to six against four. Alright, it does look like Toji picked it up. Uh, in the meantime, though, uh, Pot Agreed maybe dropped the ball a little bit. So, not to rack on any of UJ's players. And I mean, to be fair, he shouldn't really be top fragging, anyways. Uh, then again, neither should our Viper. But. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to stop saying things. Good shot from Toji. 
does get tagged up a little bit, um, but does escape with his life. So even if you have one health, an op is very scary because all you need to hit is one shot. So that's going to be the rotate over to A from Insanum. Uh, a bit of a, a uh, an odd rotate. That being said, um, no, I, uh, yeah, I don't know. Brian knew something I didn't. He's like plat one or something. He's kind of good. Could be better, but he's good. Does the op sound different? Based on skins or something? Oh. Or maybe I'm just nuts. Hey, yeah, Dolan, how uh, how do the audio levels sound for desktop and mic? Let me know in three minutes when you hear this. Ah, gotta love stream delays. I mean, I understand the reason for it, but... Still sucks. Toji with the op in short. Name a better duo or trio? Toji, op, and short, I guess. Good shot from Insanum with the op of his own. And the second kill. is eventually get traded out. But now they know where the majority of uh, Moose Whiskers is. The nade coming out from their raise, but it isn't going to do a whole lot. Astra going down, and they know last one is Huka, so they can just spray through the wall. And spray through the wall we do. 8-4 to four, UJ, so I don't think they can be too unhappy about that. Um, I mean, ideally, they'd like to be, you know, 12-0 and 0 right now. But 8-4, and four, we take it. Now for the harder half for UJ, attack. Not just in their play styles, but also uh, just with their... Uh, with their agent lineup, you know, Viper, super defensive. Killjoy, quite defensive. Um, Sky isn't necessarily defensive, but she's passive. So, let's just see what UJ can pull out. Insane him with the frenzy. Okay, set up the one way. Insane I'm standing right in the middle of the one way. Ballsy. But I mean I, I guess I guess I respect it. I mean granted, if he can see their feet, they can see his. It's mutual. You can cancel smokes? Huh, didn't know that. Yujisnaki is going down to Fusion, or has gone down to Fusion, uh, and Orthon taking down Insanum. So it's still a relatively even round. Toji getting taken down by that uh, explodey drone. Oh, too spoiled. Getting squint, uh, but missing his second shot, so he isn't quite able to... Uh, get that double like we saw Snacky pick up in the first round. So UJ is going to lose the second pistol round. A little unfortunate. But we'll see if they can make their... Uh, I, don't, I don't even know if you can call it an eco round, but it's technically an eco round work. Like Technically speaking, you can buy like Spectres and, and light ammo, but you don't want to do that because then it messes with your full buy the next round. 
So you kind of just run with pistols and stuff and full by util. Snacky setting up her line of smokes. Just looking to split sight, and now that um, now that UJ has split sight, they are pretty confident. Uh, um, Moose Whiskers being confident uh, that UJ is taking B. Toji just missing his shots. Definitely unfortunate, but not not a lot you're gonna be able to do there. Like if you're not hitting your shots, you're not hitting your shots. You can't. Like play it differently. Yep. And that's not really a super winnable round anyways. The the most you can hope to do is do some damage to uh Moose Whiskers' uh econ. But even then it's not a full buy from Moose Whiskers, so Yeah. That's it just round after pistol round, that's how it goes. So now that Yuja has lost both of their attacks so far, I wonder if they're looking to change the strategy a little bit. And with this push towards A, they very well might be. There's no way you push out that. Yeah, so I'm going to swap away, and then Toji's going to get a kill. I'm just pushing up through showers. Looking to clear out as much as he can. You hear the marshal um, from up in heaven. So definitely a little formidable. That being said, it's not an op. So it's a little bit less scary. And it would appear that UJ has just called for the rotate to be. And we're over there pretty quick. UJ trading, hoping to get control of wherever that is. Squint killing too spoiled with the molly. Very unfortunate. Last one left up is UJ Snacky. Um, and while she does have more than two shots in her magazine, they aren't shotgun shells, they're bullets. Yeah, that being said, she'll just spend a few more of them, pick up two. UJ won their first attack post-plant, so that's a little, a little extra shmoney for UJ. Yeah, there's some weird stat lines going on. Yep, I'm, I'm just gonna, just gonna let you guys look at that. Yeah, okay. Insane, I'm just holding the oh, holding multiple angles by pushing from one to the next. Also known as not holding angles. But he does know now that uh, no one is holding A2 aggressively. So at this point, it seems like Toji and Two Spoil, they're kind of just bluffing the push on to B as best they can. Moose Whiskers does somewhat have a read on that. Who does have Spike? Pot agreed over by A. Okay. So yeah, it looks like UJ is still just bluffing. Um, bluffing the B take as best they can. 
We see Ray's up there in heaven, picking up Insanum. Snacky does kill uh, Orathon in the meantime, though. Nice shot from Pot of Greed. Oh, the second one behind the box, though. And the missed dash from Toji. Definitely a little unfortunate. Um, but Tuspeld is just going to be rotating out, saving his gun, his armor. Um, yep. So UJ 2-2 two and two on attack so far. Um, but to be fair, UJ also started out 2-2 two and two on defense. So that's not really an omen either way. A hot omen, like the Valorant character. Lamau, I'm Keck. At yeah, Champagne Sheriff. I choose violence every day. You, you just don't always see it. Ooh. The ping on to two spell does reveal that there is one in mid. Not that it really matters, but all intel matters more or less. I'm just rotating back. It looks like Jay's going to be going for a B take uh, with Snacky just bluffing the, uh, the A take yet. Toji picking up UJ's second kill of the round. And it looks like it's a pretty free sight for UJ. Saying I'm flashing CT and losing the duel. Unfortunate. It is 3v1, and it's a killjoy of all characters. So it's just raw gun skill and misplays from UJ that are going to get him out of this. So unless UJ just ints, it's... Uh, it's Pretty infeasible. No, odds are he's just going to be saving. Yep, it looks like it's just going to be a save for... Oh, get out, get out, get out, get out. Okay, good. Would have been funny if he just mollied in TP from the side. Not that it would have killed anyone, but it would have been funny. Toji popping knives, everyone getting flashed. There's people dying. Insane, I'm picking up two. We're flashing U-Haul. There's a Molly. There's a dog. Everything's happening. There's nothing that's not happening. There's a flash into U-Haul. Toji picking up the kill. Snacky getting a kill. Insane, I'm getting a kill. Yeah, that's uh, it's just real clean from UJ. Real explosive take, which I don't think uh, Moose Whiskers realized uh, realized UJ could do, really. Because you don't see UJ do that very often, just with that hard, raw aggression. Um, and it, it definitely worked out for UJ in a flawless round, which is a really big deal. Insanum just clearing Hookah as best he can. Sees the Astra Star. So it does have to be wary of Astra Poles. He's going to rip Smoke instead. Um, but Insanum goes down nonetheless. Uh oh. Okay, it's fine. I wonder, did he just body block with his dog? Can you do that? If so, that's really cool. I like that.
Killjoy finally popped on A. Um, but with only 40 seconds left, UJ definitely having to uh, make a decision for which site they're pushing on to. So you see Snacky over there clearing A while uh, everyone else for UJ is over at B. Astro Wall goes up. There's the pull. There's the swing. Unfortunately, can't find. Unfortunately for uh, Moose Whiskers, uh, can't find the shots. Um, post plant though, UJ in a two v four. So a bit of a ballsy. Uh, Killjoy ult, and yeah, that's that's going to be the round for Moose Whiskers. So a little unfortunate that we used the lockdown like that. But I mean, can't change it now. What are you going to do? I am being mean, aren't I? It's fun. This is fun. I don't have another caster to bounce off of, so I just have to make fun of people. That's how this works now. <laughs> UJ looking to mount a real aggressive A push again. Maybe not super aggressive. Not as aggressive as last time. But with all five set up around short. Definitely looks like it's going to be an A push. So there you see the, the orb come out. Unfortunately, Toji does uh, with the shots, while Squint does not. Lane King picking up two with his ult. That's a very big deal. Pot of Greed picking up two of his own, though, with not an ult, with his gun. So now uh, Moose Whiskers does know exactly where Two Swelled is because it said that he picked up the spike. So he does basically just have to win these duels at that uh, at this point. But with that being said, he did just win that duel without taking any damage, and that's a really big deal. So let's see who's better at playing mind games. Too spoiled or uh, other, other sky. like the rotate it's very nice imagine he's here already just planting out in the open uh as out in the open as possible uh, so he can hold it back here you hear the tp so to spell knows relatively where um where fusion is going to be coming from and he has out mind games uh, the opposing sky. So, if if that's nothing other, uh, or if that's anything other than a round win, it's also a moral victory. Just knowing that, that we have the the smarter sky. Don't let it go to your head. UJ now on match point. They're, what, four and four on attacks right now? So, I mean, honestly, with how strong their defense is, this is this is all UJ can really ask for is going even on their attacks. Bit of a late start with the dog, though. That was a little weird. Did see the Sova in the corner, though. So that's going to get out the Astra smoke, which is definitely kind of a big deal. Ah! Good shot from Pot of Greed. He's now wrapping around into long. Not wrapping around into long. Yep. 
There's the turret. They know relatively where one of uh, Moose Whiskers' players is. He gets pulled out of plant. That's so unfortunate that that can even happen. That shouldn't. I mean, I, I guess it makes sense that that can happen. Juice World does lose the gunfight, but Pot of Greed trades him. So who's superior now? Moose Whiskers. It is also really unfortunate that uh, that Potagree did go down just because he did have the double molly set up on the spike. So if he would have just rotated back to, say, be long, um, he could have uh, just mollied once he heard the tap on the defuse. Uh, whether it was uh, baiting the molly or not, that's still denying a lot of time from Moose Whiskers. So. Either way, unfortunate loss on the round, but UJ is still at match point nonetheless. So there goes the Astro Wall. Quite early into the round, too. If I'm not mistaken, it is on a timer. So for it being that early into the round, that's a little preemptive. If it isn't on a timer, I don't know why you don't just rip it at the start of the round. Yeah, there we go. Explosion, that's the third one. It's pull smoke and explosion. Or concuss. It's a concussion. It's it does I don't think it actually does damage. EJ wrapping around to B. We see Pot of Greed going down to the Molly. Definitely uh, a little unfortunate. I don't think he thought he was inside that molly because it is uh, a little bit of a weird place to set one up. But UJ with relative control of the site, 20 seconds left and needing to get the plant down. Insane and Toji do go down along with Snacky. So two spell that just has to win the 1v5. Um, and, and yeah, he, he needs to win the 1v5 with with. Two seconds left. Wow. Imagine not even attempting that. Cringe. Just, just don't die. Okay. We take it. <laughs> don't die. I agree. So, UJ, still on match point. Um, that being said, their econ is less than good. Uh, UJ probably looking to half buy this round. <laughs> the Silva arrow not connecting with anything. So if he knew where that arrow landed... Uh, he knows that it wasn't really going to present much information, but if he doesn't know where that arrow landed, he might think that mid is clear. Toji going down over on A, a little unfortunate. I've got your trail. It looks like Fusion is going to be ripping his, I don't know, what are they, jellyfish? Kind of look like jellyfish or like squids. Is the raise nade come in? They know at very least where uh, Too Spoiled is. With the time dwindling for UJ, they haven't really cleared a whole lot of angles. A 
Agreed does go down to squint. And it's the exact same scenario as last round, where Two Spoiled is left in hookah. They're feeding him kills for some reason. Um, yeah, uh, Moose Whiskers gets an almost flawless round again. So if they win this one, it takes it into overtime, which would be a little unfortunate considering UJ was up, what, 12 to 8? So UJ is also able to full buy this round, though. So it helps their case uh, a bit. Now if they can just put uh, bullets into heads, I think we're winning. Doesn't look like that recon arrow is going to be tagging anyone. Toji flashing in. Looks like Toji is going to be watching the rotate from mid. Both killjoys are going to be ripped. Insanum going down to squint, though. Definitely a little unfortunate. Ooh, too spoiled playing with fire. But UJ is going to be on that A thing. And it's going to be a 4v4 post-plant. So a good situation for UJ. Now they just have to not overextend. Uh, yeah, basically that. They just have to not overextend. Good kill from Toji. Does get traded out. Oh, Pot of Greed almost whiffing the shots, but with one bullet left in the mag, does get the kill. Snacky cleaning up, and that's a, uh, a good, albeit close, first map for UJ. So overall, UJ looking a little rocky here and there. Um individually i think their team play was actually pretty solid um but i don't know you you won the map so just go back and look at what uh what went right what went wrong and yeah i don't know why i'm being so pessimistic i, I like i said i just don't have anyone else to bounce off of so i, I just have to hate people I should get a flag that says that. Hate people. Does look like... Oh, and Sam went 15 and 21. But was on the top half of the leaderboard. Weird. So it looks like Moose Whiskers is going to be taking defense. <sighs> Realizing that UJ is definitely an, uh, a defense-oriented team. And so if they can get a bunch of rounds on their defense, um, they only have to win a few on their attack. Which, I mean, I can respect. It makes sense. Uh, it, it looks like... EJ just isn't watching chat or something. Toji's still in game. Ah, oh, probably ran to the bathroom. But uh, regardless, it looks like the next map is going to be split. Is is that right? I don't feel like that's right. I don't think it was split. Oh, it is split. Okay. I was wrong. 
I was thinking it was Haven for some reason. I apologize for not being a little bit more talkative. Long day, you know. Speaking of how people's days were, how was your day, chat? Was it a good day? Was it a productive day? Was it an unproductive day? You love to see it. He's still in game. Yeah, he, he had to have went on a bathroom break oh he's out will he switch teams Woo, he's nuts DJ picking up the first map and looking to make it a I would say a quick little 2 but the first map did take a while so uh and as quick as possible 2 -0. And one thing I, I would like to mention is we've discussed time and time again how Bind is just that mechanics-based map. It's so, so hard uh, to push into sites with uh, proper defender setups um, without just straight-up winning gunfights. And so even though UJ's aim uh, was a little rocky, it apparently was still better than Moose Whiskers. So... You don't have to. What what what's what's the saying? You don't have to be the fastest person in the group. You just have to be faster than the bear. No, it's the opposite. You don't have to be faster than the bear. You just have to be the fastest. You just have to not be the slowest person in the group. I got there eventually, chat. I I know what I'm trying to say, and it's just coming out stupid. Yeah. So it looks like UJ was just uh. A tad faster than a moose whiskers. So, looks like both teams are ready, so we'll be getting into the match any second now. So what are we looking at? We're probably looking at a similar lineup aside from Toji on the Rays instead of the Jet. I'm guessing we've historically seen him play uh, Rays on split. Well, he's playing Jet on basically every other map. Um, and it's not necessarily that Rays is like nuts on uh, on split. And I mean, she's she's definitely better uh he's definitely better uh than jet on on split but yeah i just lost my train of thought ray's better than jet on split Ooh, we're getting into the game we're getting we're, we're not why why are they in game and how how are they how did they get in game oh, i don't know i don't understand yeah jet not that good on split you know there there's just less opping opportunities which is the main reason that she's played she can just take those real aggressive angles and not get punished because of her dash. Um, it's like, there's mid, but there's not really any unexpected angles in mid. You know you know where people are going to be peeking from. Um, you can, like, kind of op A. But I guess you can technically op B heaven, too. Oh, it's still just too it's too passive it's not what jet wants to be doing and that's that's why the raise is typically brought for uj just because jet isn't doing enough oh. Oh. 
Hunch saying it was a great day today. I'm glad to hear it, Hunch. 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 But I am glad to hear it. Hopefully we're making your day just a little bit better. Or a lot better, maybe. Maybe we're just very good at what we do. Um, but either way, hopefully it's making your day better by joining us, um, spectating some UJ Valorant action. I'm definitely having a good time, even though I may seem uh, a little bit pessimistic at times. I, I'm definitely enjoying uh, casting for all of you, really. Casting's a good time. I enjoy what I do. Yep, that's right. We'll see Toji on the Rays, Pot of Greed on the Sage, Snacky on the Viper, Insane on Reyna, and Too Spoiled on Sky. All pretty, all pretty standard for UJ's uh, split team comp. Is there anyone else that we've even seen them bring on split? I don't think so. Now that I think about it, I think this is just their hard lineup for split. So one thing with split is you can't really do these explosive sight takes just because you have to go through such narrow chokes to get to sight. There's only one real way to sight um, from each um, from each attacker pathway, I guess. It's like on bind that we just saw. There's multiple ways to get to sight for attackers, but here on split. There's only here or mid for the B attack. Toji taking a lot of damage from that that nade, but isn't getting concussed. Calling that they're behind box. The good double right click from UJ. You'll love to see it. Fusion picking up one. And Pot agreed not quite able to connect with his shots. Just well that does get gunned down in his prime by Mr. Lane King. Oh man. Oh he he had, she excuse me. She she had two guns worth of ammo. It's so sad. I, I, I've said it before. I'll say it again. Hit your shots. Imagine not clutching up two first rounds on a map in a row. Kind of cringe. So, once again, snacky top fragging. Top fragging, excuse me, after round one. How is this happening? Yeah, I am I'm, I'm sure there's some argument going on right now if you guys are VOD reviewing this. Someone does get tagged by the cipher cam, but uh it's probably not gonna matter a whole lot. That being said, the cam did also see all five UJ members, so odds are Moose Whiskers is going to be rotating quite hard. It appears someone has made the call for UJ to make the great escape and rotate to mid and to probably be because of it. People sort of getting traded, not the same not the same enemy that died, but technically a trade. What was that? Also Toji going down to Lane King. Just, just Duck below the bullet. He shoots one bullet at a time. Just don't get headshot. Left. Oh, 
there is the cipher ping. And now Moose Whiskers knows exactly where UJ is. Being said, UJ is going to be getting the plant off, luckily. Now Moose Whiskers has to retake. And Sanum pushing up real hard and getting real punished for it. Just swelled wins these. Don't, 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 don't peek heaven. You don't, you don't have the, the bullets to kill him in heaven. Yeah, that happens. You can shoot through the box, and that's what he did. So, to be fair, UJ did almost win round after pistol loss. So, I mean, even though we didn't win it, we did remove quite a few of their weapons, so they can't carry it in the next round. And that little bit of econ damage might matter. So it looks like UJ is just purchasing those pistols. Looking to hit some one digs, perhaps. Two digs also work, but we prefer the one. The one, one dig. One dig. Joe Schmo, we appreciate the support in chat. Uh, as well as the sub, he's nuts, he's subscribed. Those of you that aren't in chat, why aren't you subscribed? I know you have $5. Peer pressuring you into supporting our esports program? Oh, yes, please. Out of greed on that real awkward angle. Unfortunately, Toji is going to get sprayed down along with Insanum and out of greed, so. Bit of an odd Cypher ult, especially in a 5v2, but yeah, I, I guess. Your snacky does get the blind kill on the squint. Looks like Two Spoiled is just going to be looking for those uh, those ending kills, pushing up real aggressive, and he's he's decided to to throw away his weapon. He didn't need that dig. I mean, it's a full buy, granted, but might as well keep the dig. No, Evan. Technically, you should push there because you can damage their econ. Keep the dig. I don't know who this Evan person is that I keep referencing, to be fair. I am clicky. Would appear that Too Spoiled is going to get a little too tagged up. <laughs> and, uh... Is it going to have to rotate back? Back to his team. I mean. Satoji uh, just in that little, the little corner, hoping for one of Moose Whiskers to get a little overly aggressive. But it doesn't seem like that's something they do very often. Their, their aggression is pretty, pretty metered. They know what they're doing. Everything they seem to be doing is very calculated. Good shot from Toji. Mr. Tio spoiled healing Toji up. What a good teammate. What a, what a team play. Fusion gunning down Mr. Tio spoiled. So I believe we know where both of 
uh, Moose Whiskers players are now, relatively. Okay, it's not. Oh, and four. I mean, it's usually just attack, sure, but this is not the way they want to get going. So we're a defense-oriented team, but there's no reason to put more pressure on us than we need or uh, than is necessary. Ah, gotta love Kingdom Cola better than Pep Pep. Tio spoiled with the. The wand dig. He's too queen with it. One of the nice things about uh, about Sky's ult like that is it basically clears corners for you. You see where all of the little squid jellyfish things go. So it 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 basically makes sure there aren't enemies. Uh, at, at certain angles. And while it tells you where the enemies are, it's arguably more valuable knowing where they aren't. It's a pot of greed. Back in sight with the op. Will he gun down some foes? Getting a little aggressive. I like the slow. So they saw him cross. Good shot from Squint. Yeah, and I would assume he got the half defuse there. Yep. Because he knew where UJ's last player was, so he knew he could get the half defuse back. Um... And uh, and get the kill, and that's exactly what he did. Granted, he probably could have gotten a full defuse, but yeah, what what he did was objectively correct. UJ down o five. I don't imagine that's too good for their morale, but like I've said, UJ's attack. Definitely not the same as UJ's defense. And Sanum once again getting gunned down. Very unfortunate. Pot of Greed is going to be ripping the res. Bring it back to a 5v5. No longer a 5v5. Lane King just nuts with that op. Yep. Spike down mid. I got the spot. Could have gotten the double spray there, but getting one is that's it's good enough. Good shot from Snacky. Lane King just whiffing the the last shot that matters this round. Just nails all the other shots, but that one, nah, we can whiff that one. I wonder if his name is Lane King or if it's like a like a league reference. Like he's king of the lane. If it's a league reference, that's cringe. Any games made by Riot are Bad. Like this one. You just still just struggling to get their footing. Not sure exactly what's going on. Uh, I, well, okay, I take that back. You uh, just says members dying because I think. Uh, I think, uh, Moose Whiskers has realized that if they just have random controlled aggression, just randomly peaking angles. It'll catch UJ off guard a lot of the time. Yep. Just like that. Like, 
what a what a weird place to be. And he gets rewarded for it because it's just a weird place to be. UJ is up. UJ was up. UJ is down. Two spoiled wins these. Oh, it's such an exposed spike. It's so unfortunate. To be fair, he, he can just wait until he hears that spike was picked up, and then he can peek. Because he knows exactly where Two Spoiled is at that point. There we go. First attacking around on the board for UJ. And plant money. Very cool. So I'm sure that's a, a nice little jolt back. Um, jolt back to life for UJ, I guess you could say. It didn't come out the way I intended. You guys probably get what I'm saying. If you don't get what I'm saying, don't worry. I don't either. Spike dropped. Spike picked up. Who knows where Spike is? It's on too spoiled, I think. Yeah. The Astra wall being ripped. And they know where the Astra is. So that's probably, yep. That's going to be a blind shot through the wall. But that's that's all that really it's all that you really need to do, because odds are people on Moose Whiskers are going to be relatively exposed. You did just winning gunfights now. Whatever happened last round, I'm glad it happened. Woo! What a shot from Two Spoiled. Lane King just nuts. Where is Snacky? Damaging her teammate. Is, is where she is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's dead. Yep. Very unfortunate. I mean, you just still got the round win, though. Uh, at least the friendly fire didn't matter too much because he just died to bomb. But it is also sad that he died to bomb. Play better. Well, some sick butterfly knife tricks from UJ Snacky. Sheesh. Nuts. Uh, Spike, Spike is in spawn. Okay. At least we realized it. And no one was pushed up to either... To either uh, invisible wall at the start of the round. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I'm sure it's just UJ regrouping. It's not that big of a deal. UJ hitting their shots, though. Pot agreed with the Guardian. A little unorthodox, but... Uh, I mean, we've definitely seen weirder from UJ. Like a shorty on round one. Oh, oh, yep, there we go. We saw it. An almost flawless round for Yujo, too, so that's kind of a big deal. That means we have basically zero buy going into this round. So, weapons, free. Armor is not free. Abilities are not free. The weapons carried over. So, it's a lot of, uh, a lot of creds that we don't have to invest. 
man, I love investing. But when I get things for free, that's even better than investing. Toji's just ripping the ult immediately and not quite finding anything. I would assume he ulted right there. But... Uh, what Moose Whiskers probably heard the voice line and decided, you know, I don't really want to get blown up. So then they just backed a little bit. That's a relatively free site for UJ now. That's kind of a big deal. Fusion does pick up Insanum. And then UJ Snacky ripping the Viper ult as well. Oh, that's, that's a little unfortunate. Not exactly sure why he decided to push the way he did, but... Ultimately, it's not going to matter too much as the rest of UJ gets gunned down in their prime. Very sad. Ah, League equals cringe. Good clip. That's a good clip. I appreciate it. League is cringe. So UJ at 3-7. and seven. Not exactly where they want to be. They kind of wanted to be even at, uh, at the end of attack. I mean, we got three on the board. It's is better than nothing. We'll take it. Insane him up there on that angle. Toji nading into connector? I don't know exactly what that's called. Whatever it does go down. It gets the res off onto Insane him though. So, we appreciate it. The, the one for zero, oh, the one for one half trade, I guess. If you want to count the, the ult is like, it's like half a, half a life, I guess. Half life. When is half life three coming out? When is half life four coming out? These are the real questions. Sam, here's them heaven. Decides to still hold the angle from CT though. And Fusion knows exactly where Insanum is. So uh, yeah, this this isn't isn't super winnable. Yep. Not, not with Astro Wall down like that. So three to eight. Hopefully UJ can make it four to eight. Uh, going into this final, um, this final attacking round. If I don't see five Odins. I'm going to be very disappointed. Good knowing that uh, the cam was going to be there. We're learning. See another UJ trait. Learning. Sometimes. A 
else with a muzzle flash on that that Zed skin is very cool. Lane King just doing Lane King things. Insane, I'm shutting him down now. Saying I'm on the lurk and snacky planting. Yep. Took some loud steps. Told him exactly where he was. Can't be taking those loud steps. Got to take the quiet steps. Hold that shift key. I, I guess I'll chalk up Insanum's performance to him using a not broken mouse, though. Because I, I think the entire season up to today, he, or like this last week, um, he is playing with like a semi busted mouse. So. I would assume he's just not used to the new one yet, is all. Which I can understand. Some mice are just. You know. Weird to get used to. So now that UJ is finally on their forte defense, let's see if they can get a streak going. Seems like there's lots of gunfire in mid, and Pot of Greed is going to be the first death of the game, or of, uh, of the round, rather. Not the game. Lots of people have died this game. So we hear the tripwire going down. Snacky getting tagged through the wall. And Toji deciding that uh, standing out in the open is not for him. So it looks like uh, Moose Whiskers is going to be taking that A site. It's a really good concuss, too, from that breach. Good flash is going to win the duel, but also is going to get traded out. Three v one. Moose Whiskers does have to play this very poorly to lose. Yeah, they just had three people stacked in a, in a relatively small area, and uh, now when all three people peak. One person at once. Very low chance of that one person winning. So well played for Moose Whiskers there. UJ losing the first defense round. The map isn't looking too hot for him. So odds are they lose this round too since they can't buy. So either UJ pulls out something miraculous or... Moose Whiskers is two rounds away from putting up a real clean performance on the map. Snacky is going down quite early. That's a really big deal. UJ losing their Viper. Oh, shot it. Knows where Insanum is now. If he would have knifed it, then it's not revealed. Yep. So that's going to be 11 to 3 in favor of Moose Whiskers. Just a real rough map for UJ.
Toji pulling the pin out of his gun there. Interesting visual bug. You spoiled picking up two. It's definitely a, a bit of Oh, oh that was that was so weird. Both people are very unhappy about what happened there. <laughs> Both players ran out of ammo and they were standing against each other. Yeah, that was weird. We're we're just not gonna talk about that. And I mean granted, Insane was already reloading. But yeah, that was that was weird. Especially from that Astros perspective. That was that was awkward. That was Ako Taco. Oh, I need to go to bed. It really does seem like. Never mind. I agree. It is going to get concussed. Luckily, nothing is going to be coming out of it. Oh man, Pot agreed whiffing the shots and getting punished for it. That is, that's just, that's heartbreaking. What is going on out there? Oh good, you guys can't hear it. Okay, it, just a super loud buzzing started. Yeah, no idea what that is, but at least you guys can't hear it. Snacky trading. Knows where the last one is. Unfortunately, can't win that 1v1, and it's going to be uh, map point for uh, for Moose Whiskers. Classic wall coming out from Pot Agreed. Pushing real aggressively. They now know that there is no one in that uh, in that warehouse, so odds are they're rotating over to A. Looks like they have. Lane King picking up Pot Agreed over in mid. And it looks like Two Spell did kill the the planter. Unless they just decided to stop planting. But Plant was not behind the box, it was behind that left box. Two Spell is gonna clean up though. And UJ is not dead yet. Five to twelve. Not looking good, but not dead yet the 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 monty python thing not dead yet or, or the tune 
always look on the bright side of life. Or the, or the holy hand grenade. Man, Monty Python was great. Insanum, probably peeking that same angle again. Nope, not peeking the same angle. Okay, good. Ooh, did see someone there. But neither person lined up the shots until Lane King did, and then Lane King won. Ah, oh, he's dead eventually. Did do quite a bit of damage to Potigree. Hit two body shot kunai. Um, I, I would assume, unless he just didn't buy armor, but... Potigreed picking up another Guardian kill. He's too clean with it. Snacky spraying down Squint. J now on a 3v2 and no real sight. If anyone aside from that Cypher. So they could be bluffing the B, uh, the B push. Um, or they could actually be pushing B. Who knows? Maybe it's not a bluff and he's just out of position. Ooh, does get the dink. Unfortunately, because it's the Phantom, it does 125, or what, 145, excuse me, uh, instead of 150. Snacky does find the kill, but that wasn't the Spike Carrier. Okay, there's Spike Carrier. Good shot from T-Spoiled. There's Spike Carrier. Mike didn't unmute. Why did it not unmute? Yeah, I, I'm sure you guys had... Uh, I'm sure you guys enjoyed that peace and quiet there for that round. I, I muted it for a second and then unmuted it. And it uh, it decided to remute itself. So... Yeah, I don't know. Oh, 
about that team ace. Sharing is caring. A lot of greed hitting the shots while Orathon has not. Snacky hitting her shots as well. You love to see it. Woo! UJ on the flawless. Really putting pressure onto uh, onto Moose Whiskers here. They've won five rounds of defense in a row. That's a really big deal. What a weird spot for that nade to sit. I figured it would sit like right on the... Oh, what's the word? The lintel? Something like that. Whatever the top part of a doorway is called. Insane, I'm winning the duel. He might finally be warm. Pot agreed picking up a second. And Toji knows there's at least one over here. Yep. So he saw it. He's not going to peek. His vandal headshots do kill, even through smoke. Fun fact, smoke does not slow down bullets. The phantom? No, it's the specter, isn't it? Maybe it is the phantom. No, the vandal has 25 bullets. The phantom is 30, right? It's the opposite in CSGO. Right. I think. I'm pretty sure. There is Spike Carrier. And at this point, that's just a round lost for uh, for Moose Whiskers, which is really unfortunate for them because they had two team members alive. Losing a round with two team members left alive is just it's very sad. It's almost like C9-ing, in a way. What a weird spot. It's like it goes in the map. Oh, I do not have the cap on my pop bottle. I tried to take off the cap. I see the issue there. Hint, there was no cap. <laughs> no cap. Insanum taking the uh, the fight yet again. Um, Moose Whiskers decided losing a fight three times in a row is enough. We're just not going to peek that now. So either they are mounting a much slower B attack, or they are pushing towards A. Good shot from Toji onto the top fragger lane king, so that's kind of a big deal. Snacky getting sprayed down a little bit, but not dead yet. Yeah, yeah, forehead, no clicky voice. That's it. I'm not going to host you when the stream's done. The stream might not be done to like, midnight at this point. Probably 1130 at least. Unless UJ does actually manage to win the map. Which isn't looking too infeasible at this point. Looks like they are mounting an A push. Good first shot from Doji, unfortunately. He wasn't quite able to find the second. That being said, his uh, ever so generous teammate, Pot of Greed, has got his back. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
UJ winning seven rounds in a row. So, this both has to be really good for their confidence and really bad for Moose, Whis Moose Whiskers' confidence. Which, I mean, we'll take both of those. Because here, we support UJ. Remaining neutral is cringe. Yep, there's that. Wall gets sprayed down. Insane him on the angle with an op. He's decided he is not losing this angle fight. It wouldn't surprise me if he just sat here for the entire round. Or at least until he knows where... Uh, our Moose Whiskers is pushing. So we know there's at least two of them in mid. There's three of them in mid. So two are accounted for. You just snacky picking up one of the kills, though she does get traded back. We did see the breach and the sage there just for a brief, uh, brief millisecond, if you will. Toji just winning duels, though. That's exactly what we needed him to be doing right there. Because he was very out in the open, and he's quite alone on site. Oh, he popped the ult, too. That's so unfortunate. And Tatum also goes down. Odds our last one is back in sight, though. The smoke is going down on that rotate. So they know that she crossed, but she probably can't plant in time. It'll be close. Potty Greed going quietly, which is a little weird. But I uh, feel like you could probably just rush that and, and deny the plant straight up. I, I don't know Valorant timing. Good shots from Pot of Greed, and that is soon to be the round. There we go. One more round, and UJ will have taken it from 3 to 12 to 12 to 12. So as long as they don't get in their heads too much about taking it to overtime, uh, I, I will. I'll just have to commend them on their defense. Offense a little shaky. Defense pretty clean considering they won nine rounds in a row. If they win this one, good shot from Insanum, and unless they get the. Ooh, Pot Agreed not getting dinked, and that's all we can really ask for. We also got the intel that the Sage is there. Don't believe shots on the... Oh. Yeah, I don't believe shots on that zipline are super accurate, so... Insane them. Getting super, super aggressive with the op. As long as he doesn't push any further than this, I'm cool. If he pushes further than this, I'm uh, a little upset. Gets the spray. Gets the second. Gets the third. Two spoiled is nuts. Spike is in connector. They know where the last one is because Insanum just died to him. So all they have to do is protect uh, that spike because they know exactly where it is. And woo! what a shot from Fusion. That being said, unless he can kill two, that's the round. Because he doesn't have spike, and we know that. But agree just getting the ego kill and picking up the op for fun. So that's Overtime for UJ. 3 to 12 to 12 to 12.
That's that's nuts. Uh, yeah, forehead. Uh, the delay is three minutes. I apologize. <laughs> I I got a little wrapped up in the action. Um, yep, yeah, the stream delay is three minutes. Just oh man, incredible defense from you, Jose. Like, I I don't think that uh that Moose Whiskers was necessarily whiffing shots either. It didn't seem like they were misplaying. It just seemed like UJ was playing better. UJ is back on to attack, which is their uh, less favored mode of transportation, if you will. I'd like to see five of them just take their knives out and rush on to B. That seems good, I think. There's the off shot. So they know that probably the jet uh, has that long angle there. Toji picking up Fusion uh, on the Cypher. Not a super important kill, but a kill nonetheless. Toji picking up the Sage, which is a little bit bigger of a deal. UJ now in a 4v3 post plant. So unless uh, unless Moose Whiskers can get some cheeky little kills, uh, being sneaky beaky like, cheeky kills being sneaky beaky like, UJ at match point. One more round. UJ's on defense. Now, I don't know about you guys, but uh, UJ's defense looking kind of clean. Forehead. When are we getting some forehead pogs? There's regular pog champ. When are we getting forehead pog? Saying I'm on his favorite angle. The good angle. I don't like that good doctor, that one show about the doctor that's good. Never seen it. Wall coming down in mid. Woo! Potty Greed's head not getting taken off. And that's intel that the Jets there. On that side, nonetheless. So there's a slightly higher chance that they are mounting a an A attack. Toji does go down. Uh, and Squint does also tag up Snacky, but she is going to get healed. 24 seconds left. So, bit of a weird attack from, uh, from Moose Whiskers. Spike does get planted um, on A. Jay is at a deficit. Oh, and the last one's in connector. That's brutal. There's no point in saving at this point, so you kind of just go for the kills. Odds are they have a, uh, a pretty nice crossfire set up. Moose Whiskers pulling it back 13 to 13. 
Uh, what's the match score right now? UJ is up one map to zero. Funny, yet again, we just see UJ Snacky top fragging. They've yelled at me for spectating people that aren't our fraggers. But, uh, or our duelists, excuse me. But, seems like it's not the duelists that are winning these duels. Cypher knows that the cam got taken down, but all he knows is that someone is there. He doesn't know who, he doesn't know where. I mean, relatively. Insanum winning the duel without taking damage. And I'm having to be careful about that Astra Star because he can get pulled if he tries it to rotate. And because that is a silenced weapon, uh, the only reason the Cypher knew that, uh, that the tripwire was destroyed is because he heard it. Which means Cypher is on A. Squint taking down Insanum, too spoiled, and you just snacky getting kills of their own. So it's only that Cypher left. They know he's back there. UJ has Spike, so they're just going to rotate back to B and make Cypher uh, try to attack things. That's not what Cypher does. And here we are just doing the tried and true two stack can you boost in valorant i don't think you can boost in valorant so sad i like boosting not like not like the level kind like the stacking one man on top of another man kind of boosting Yep, and he had to stick it at that point, so, yep, he he just took too slow, and UJ capitalized on it, and it doesn't matter that UJ died to Spike there, because, you know, your credits reset at the start of every overtime round, so. UJ once again on match point on defense, so if this defense is just even a little bit cleaner than the last one. It doesn't even have to be a lot cleaner than last one. Just a little bit. That'll be the series. So let's see if everyone's feeling themselves. The wall has went up, and it hasn't been shot down. Or it wasn't shot down immediately. So that's a little bit of stall. They're just going to be spraying down the entire wall. They also know that a Phantom and a Vandal are in mid. Insanum does go down to Lane King. Little unfortunate. A League player. Blech. The Concussion doesn't actually hit Pot of Greed, but uh, some bullets do. Too Spoiled is able to trade Fusion. And kill Lane King as well. Squint does get the kill onto Two Spoiled, but Toji is there to trade him out. Toji hits the shots, and there's one enemy between UJ and Victory. I would assume Toji's just going to stick this. Yep. And that, uh, I mean, I, I hope he's going to stick it now. Oh, man. UJ dropped one round 
out of the last 13 rounds. Whatever they changed, change it earlier from now on, because uh, that was stressful. Oh, man, what a performance after UJ's attack. That, that, was, that was nuts. UJ was three to what three to nine going into uh, going into their defense uh, <coughs> excuse me and then Moose Whiskers won three more and then UJ just won nine in a row and then won in overtime. Oh, that's that's obscene. That's absolutely nuts. So yeah, I not much more I've got to say here. That was that was it was kind of insane. Just a really solid performance from UJ. Uh, once they got going, I. I think I'll see if I can pull anyone in uh, and ask a few questions. So I'll leave you guys with the DMCA free music for uh, about 30 seconds and I'll see if, uh, if I can pull someone in for you guys. All right, I believe someone is coming this way very shortly. It's me. Yo, it's Toji. I don't think we've interviewed you yet. No, we have not. Yeah, I'll get that cord. Have to, yeah, give me some slack extra as I here. can. How many viewers we have? Uh, currently we have 18. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, we we had a good crowd going on. So. Any initial thoughts on the series? Definitely did not study enough. I don't think any of us watched the VOD review except Alex or uh, yep. Pot of Greed. Yep, I could tell. Yeah, we were a little caught off guard as an entire team. Um, first game playing Jet, I was a lot more comfortable playing on Bind. Mm -hmm. My raise is, is still a little shaky, especially like if I get shut down early. Yeah. Because raise has a very like linear style of gameplay. Mm -hmm. So... I was shut down pretty early, but I ended up coming back in those later rounds, especially in the um, that bulldog round. Mm -hmm. That bulldog round, I got one kill and damaged three for 140 and yeah. 120. Which is nuts. That's so. that's so much damage from a bulldog. Yeah. Nonetheless. Big um, save there. So about your guys' attack on split, what happened there? I think a lot of it comes to comes down to uh us not having like a proper smoke we have viper mm -hmm. viper is definitely sometimes a little trickier to play on split mm -hmm. um especially since not all of us are actually any of us or none of us are pros so like it comes down to like trusting our teammates and not having proper los sometimes because we're playing with like a flex character like viper who's really good at like having post plant damage mm -hmm. and like area denial but I think, I think yeah, we did fine for the most part, except when we were actually trying to take over, like, the initial site. We just weren't pushing on hard yeah. enough. Yep, I, I agree. It seemed like your guys' takes were relatively clean until someone got picked, and then you guys just couldn't clear the stuff you wanted to clear. Yeah, it just... And it just crumbled from there. Mm-hmm. And I think, I think when we got onto site, it was it was a lot better. But like you said, like we would uh, we would have one person die, and then we would just suddenly have nobody able to hit anything. We were, mm -hmm. our crosses weren't there. 
our shots weren't even hitting some of us. Like we were dealing with like six percent packet loss both games. Oh, that's awful. Yeah, that's it was bad. so bad. The first game I averaged three percent the entire time. That's so that's any disgusting. Any one tap you saw me get, it was delayed on my screen. Cool. Oh, that's gross. No wonder you guys were missing shots. That's, ugh. that's yeah, it, it just wouldn't make sense. Like I, most of us would hold our proper angles, mm -hmm. and packet loss would just destroy us. And we, the dude, would already be full spree, is full speed, like yeah. wide swinging us, and it would be tough to deal with. Oh, that that's awful. Why did you guys play on that server then? I think it's. I don't think it's the server. I think it's just. Was it our internet? Yeah, I think it's our uh, total internet and everything going on here. Gotta love. Jamestown internet. We good, were good, good for times. like the first four weeks. Oh, yeah. Did you see that ping? Yeah, no, it was really good. Crispy 30 ping with zero packet loss. Now, the exact opposite. Yeah, we averaged 50 with six. <laughs> good times. <clears throat> and ping in Valorant is so much more influential than ping in other games. It seems I've, like. Because we're talking about millisecond decisions, mm -hmm. you know? And. We're also playing a game where any gun can pretty much one shot you. Yeah. Not every gun but theoretically, but for the most when part. we're on the when we're on the buy rounds, every gun can almost one shot you mm -hmm. in the head. Every gun. And especially if you're dealing with somebody who has an op, it's very tough to peek them. So if you notice we had to stop even peeking that op in mid because yep. we would swing him and we would start shooting at him, but it would be completely delayed, like he already killed us. Yep. So it was it was kind of difficult to deal with on that second map. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and knowing that your guys' packet loss was that bad, that definitely explains a lot. lot. Of the, it explains a lot. Like so, we would swing and be just caught off guard somehow. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna go back and watch the VOD, and I'm gonna seem really mean. I'm. That's <laughs> totally fine. It it tends to happen in this game. Oh yeah, that that's brutal. To be fair though, you guys still won in two maps. First one almost went to overtime, and second one did. Mm. You guys still won in two. First game, I think a lot of us were more comfortable because it is our favorite map, mm -hmm. and Viper is a thousand times more viable, I think, on bind than yes, on split. I split would is a little bit of a riskier choice, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, because if you notice some of the pro teams, some of the pro teams run Astra Viper mm -hmm. as their as their comp for like Sentinel or whatever, yep. and then. Because you saw Dapper switch off of, um, you saw Dapper switch off of Cipher mm -hmm. into Viper. That's hard to say. <laughs> and you saw Zoms play Astra. Then you saw Reyna and Jet, and then you saw Sage. Mm -hmm. And that's a really good comp. I think maybe we should try that since uh, our packet loss is a little bad. I think <laughs> us having the ability to smoke off more angles, have yeah. more flexibility like that would help us tremendously mm, yeah i i would agree and I, I would like to see you guys experiment just a little bit more especially because your uh your split setup is just pretty strictly the lineup you guys brought mm -hmm. so it is like i think in total we played pretty linear this that that second game yeah it was kind of kind of hard like we had to execute perfectly otherwise it would just wouldn't work mm-hmm but I mean, it worked out in the end, and that's yeah. all we can ask for. Got the two wins, got the series win, and uh, I think we're number one or number two in the division. Really? That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. That's so cool. So going in as one of the top seeds, the first team, if uh, you remember Shriner. Yeah. Shriner actually placed fourth. No way. Yeah, fourth or fifth, I think, is what they placed, because they ended up beating this team, uh, huh. Moose Whiskers. and That's wild. They took one map off of Amarillo. Really? No, they actually, no, they got stomped by Amarillo. They took one map off of Bradley. Okay. And, huh. you know, I think it'll be A-OK. -okay. I think Amarillo's like our toughest toughest team to play, but those uh, that week was really difficult for us, yeah. if you remember. Yeah. We had three people who were sick and ill. Yeah, that was not a good week. Yeah, I all in all, good win uh coming from you guys i i know there's a little bit to vod review but also you know, just just with the the internet conditions that you guys had you can't be too critical 
So we can be critical about the whole plays, but we can't yes. be critical about the peaking yeah. and all of yeah. that stuff. I just want to see this real quick. I don't know who this is. Champagne Sheriff Toji for president, twenty twenty four. Uh, Champagne Sheriff is also known as Quick Kill. Oh, okay. You, you know. No, I still I still don't no. know who that is. The, the caster, the Overwatch player. Oh oh, Brent. You don't say his real name. Okay, well you gotta delete that. Um, yeah, we're we're now deleting this entire vod. Well, this entire vod is yeah. now scratched, ladies and gentlemen. Great, awesome. Um, yeah, no, I know Quick Kill now, one hundred percent. Great, thanks. Toji uh, for president, twenty twenty four. This is hilarious. Um, yeah, I think that's gonna be it for us. Thanks for coming and interviewing a little bit. Um, good first interview. Good yeah. job. Nice to be in the uh, booth. Yeah. Um. Yeah, thanks for stopping in, guys. You guys showed a lot of support, especially towards the end there. Uh, so we're all really glad to see it. Uh, don't forget to hit the follow button if you haven't. Uh, subscribe, because I know you all have $5. <laughs> There's no way none of you don't have $5. Matter of fact, everybody who watched right now, just subscribe. Give us, yeah, give us the yeah. gifted subs, or, or, actually. Or, or, or like, Because I'm going to go give some gifted subs right now. Just to support the cause. Uh, honestly, I respect it. I respect it. I already I, dropped twenty five dollars on the new knife, so. Oh God. <laughs> uh, I I hate tax shooter players. I bought new skin. I am good uh, now. Yucky. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah. It was a good time. A absolutely, it was fun to watch. Um, but thanks for stopping in, guys. We appreciate the support. Don't forget to follow. Don't forget to subscribe uh and check out forehead stream because he's actually starting up in 12 minutes uh doing a pokemon nuzlocke with random typing which he didn't think he had on but he does so he has uh, a really good lineup with really bad typing um so if you guys are interested in that at all uh it's uh, it's a non-official plug for forehead stream you can subscribe to him after you subscribe to us clearly um yeah, vibe uh, vibe with us in his chat once we're done here. Um, so, yeah, once again, thanks for stopping in, guys. And uh, have a good night if I don't see you in Four Heads stream. <laughs>